Stat has revealed that 40 million adults were targeted by scammers in the first four months of 2023 alone. But when it comes to diet scams, it's something that's affected the majority of our panel. Now, Sue, I think you've spoken recently about this, haven't you? <sighs> I had to... I felt I, I felt I had to do a video on Instagram because... This scam company has been selling these diet gummies on the back of my name, right. saying, this is what I used to lose weight. Uh, and I think it's something that happens to a lot of us. It's like, yes, I did lose weight last year. I decided to give up the booze and I went on the jungle. This year, I have not lost weight through gummies or through any diet at all. So I've had a really bad year. I had a hysterectomy in March and then a few weeks ago, I ended up in A&E. Uh, I don't need to go into the details, but it was a scary, scary time. I had surgery and ended up in intensive care. Wow. So there is no diet. There are no gummies. And I am incensed that these companies prey mm -hmm. on people's vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, and and use our name. People spend money, I presume, buying yeah. these. A lot of oh. money. Yeah. One lady had spent £160 oh. buying this, and I felt awful. And what can you do about it? Nothing. 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 Why? Because it's not deemed to be a public Because the platform companies or... keep. It happened to, to yeah. Col and I a few years ago. I looked in this um, magazine, and it was also online a video. And it was for the, the diet gummy things. And, um, and it, was, it showed a video of me. Actually, I was on this show when my second marriage had broken down. And it, it was an incredibly supportive show, but I was crying. And I was like this. And they were showing that video saying that I was so relieved to have lost weight on these diet gummies. And talking about vulnerable people, you'll never guess who bought some diet gummies off the back of me advertising them. Me dad. <laughs> Seriously. And without even asking me, but likewise, if people think that you've had a significant weight loss and that they can, you know, and I understand that. You know, I work with a company with people who are emotional eaters and it's, a, it's, as, it's, it's as big an addiction as it is with my, with my alcohol. It was I... the most mm. awful thing that I saw because they used me as well in one of these and it was so, so frustrating because you can't get to them. Mm. I mean, they used, they'd taken um, pieces out of magazines, off the show, used all different quotes, so it sounded like the way they pasted it together, I was using these gummies. And like you, I had people going, I've just bought them, do they really work? Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. And then, do they work, should I buy them? I was constantly answering mm. and I put a post out. And then we tried to go legal mm -hmm. with it, didn't we? And, of course, they don't exist. Yeah. So and they can't find them. They have what? a P.O. box in the Netherlands or yeah. somewhere and yeah. they just close the company down and reopen a, un, un, under another name. It's and really nobody bad. ever does and anything. And they're not what, the what, it, what it does do, though, for me that annoys me is it highlights this obsession that we still have with what we weigh and people's mm. desperation and how have they done it and what have they done. I don't care what anyone said. I've been someone who's been big and I've tried everything. And it's equating like, looking well and to equating looking thin. Look, you know, I've, I've nearly, you know, I've been seriously, seriously ill, but I look amazing. Is that you what you think? That's the comment you've had that's from That's the comments I've had. I mean, I'm actually trying to put on weight at the minute because I, it, for me, I On just, your bum, only on, on your bum. On my, I've, <laughs> I've, the NHS have brought me a cushion round to sit on because I've got no bum, <laughs> seriously. But I really, I want to put back on weight. I, I wish can I could help choose. You with that. I am an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to choose. I'd like to choose, though, where I put it back on. I'd like to go into a shop and they, they sell things, uh, food that you can just go in and buy a Victoria bum cake. Yes. <laughs> or boob burgers. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. As, I, as I'm putting it on now, I know where I want it to go. On my. <laughs> Bottom. But how do but. you how do you feel about people commenting on on your appearance? I think if you've struggled with your weight, that it's a very sensitive area. People, women are the worst. Women, I mean, very innocently say, "Oh my God, you look amazing! You've lost weight." What I hear is, "I looked an absolute dog before." Yeah. <laughs> and what about you? Paul? I'm the opposite. If I've lost weight and gone to the hell of losing it, I want everyone to go, "Oh my God, you've lost weight! You look fabulous." <laughs> Because I, I'm not going through that trauma unless I get some recognition. <laughs> I want 
what me and Dan once had in the past of, <laughs> oh, she's gone too far. No, we don't <laughs> want that, but we did at the time. We don't want that. It was my best headline. The magazine... <laughs> The, the magazine... Should I just say here that uh, Colleen is not representative of ITV? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the magazines <clears throat> can be very cruel in their lack of subtlety. You know, they'll say such and such a body celebrates their curves on a beach. They mean she looks fat, is what they mean. <laughs> and then that person loses weight and then it is all, oh, my God, stop now, you, you've, you've gone too far. It's about changing your relationship with food, but it yeah. is about educating ourselves to stop equating looking good with how much we, we weigh. And I'm, I'm as guilty of it. You know, just before you commented, I was going to say, oh, my God, how have you lost that weight? No, I wasn't. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> then you. Yes, right. Well, uh, I think it's a, a little message there to be very careful yeah, yeah. Um, on what yeah. you say to somebody when they've lost weight, because you never know why they've lost weight.